After exploring Athens, we decided to hop on an overnight ferry to the island of Crete, and it wasn't long before we heard the famous pink sand beaches calling our names. We are on our way to check out some of Crete's best beaches. Hopefully we fit it all in. Our first stop is going to be Elephanisi Beach, which is about an hour and 45 minutes away. It's a little bit chilly in the mornings, but it's supposed to get up to 80 degrees today. So I think the beach should actually be a nice temperature, even though I'm a little bit cold right now. Yeah. It is early. Yeah. It's November, it's a Wednesday. Mid-November. Yeah. Hopefully we have it to ourselves as well. Okay, cool. let's do this. We're a little confused because everybody seems to be driving on the shoulder, which feels very wrong, but like everybody is doing it. Rental guy did not discuss this. We've hit the first of our problems. Part of the highway is closed, so we have to get off the highway. It looks like the only way to go is to take another way that's going to add 20 minutes onto our journey. Left here? Looks like a dead end. It looks so wrong. Is that really what we're doing here? Continue straight. Really? Google. So the road just ended and now it's dirt so we're turning around. This is crazy. Oh boy this turned into an unexpected adventure. <laughs> he wanted us to go over these like rocky sand dunes in this little Kia and there's just no way that we could do that. So we turned back around we actually took out the old school map that thankfully the car rental company gave us. We mapped something out. Google Maps seems to be finally on board with us. Highly recommend a real map though because this clearly outlines the paths that you should be taking unlike Google Maps which doesn't seem to understand like what's a dirt road and what's actually a road. Hello, let me see. That's the first sign that we've seen with the Phoenici on it. We did it. Yeah. It's so blue. It's so blue. We're still 10 minutes away, but it is such a relief to be looking at the water. This was a journey.
water is so warm, it's crazy. This is like hot for sea water. The octopus is going to make it confident in his ability to survive this. So we just finished Elephantasis Beach. We did spend a little bit too much time there, but it was probably worth it. We are now heading up to Felisarna Beach which is about an hour and a half away. So hopefully we still have some time to really enjoy that beach as well. Meanwhile, the drive to Felisarna's beach is absolutely beautiful. Very windy, very narrow roads along the cliff's edge. The views are magnificent. Absolutely. It's actually the time of the harvest for the olives. And we are passing through fields and fields fields of olive trees but as we pass through them we see that they're laying down nets to catch all of the olives as they fall down I guess they're right they fall and it's pretty cool to see this technique I've, I've actually not seen the harvest like this We did it. We made it to Felisarna Beach. The water still looks crystal blue. Still lots of mountains. It looks great. I see a couple people sunbathing, but once again, we have the whole place to ourselves. Like it's getting a little later in the day. We have spent three and a half, no, three hours and 45 minutes driving so far today. And there's still an hour back to Hanya where we're staying. Let's go check it out. Okay. As compared to the other one, this is the beach where if we had more time, I'd put a towel out. It's weird, I think the water's colder, but the beach is a little bit warmer. It's good, it's fun. Definitely worth it. You know, it would have been a shame to have gone to two beaches in one day and not taking a dip. The water is so blue, it's amazing. I wish we had more time to just lay out here and take a few more dips, because this, this beach is amazing. Overall, we really enjoyed both beaches. I think Elefanasi is cool just to go see it. It's like a little bit different, but I think this one is better for just relaxing and hanging out. It's hard to comment on like the difference of amenities offered because it's kind of a ghost town right now. It's just you and half a dozen other people. So like I see Tavernas over there. I see something that looks like bathrooms, but nothing really seems to be 
open or at least very popular right now. So sadly we need to get going back to Hanya, but we do have one more beach we want to show you. Now we're going to what is maybe our favorite beach because it's an eight minute walk from the apartment we're staying in, in Hanya. This is eight minutes away from our apartment, which makes it super easy and convenient to just pop over to. We have like an hour to spare. Actually, out of, out of all three of the beaches, this one has the most active boardwalk kind of area. There's a lot of nice restaurants and stuff. There's no pink sand, but it's, it's pretty nice. Major city on Crete, 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 Major city on Crete, Crete. 